Greetings. It's me, Eli, aka Slim. Another discussion video? <laughs> I guess it's, a. Uh, are you afraid of AI art replacing you? Hmm. This is a good question. It's been brought to me a lot in the last, you know, couple months when it's uh, kind of become really popular. And I've seen all types of uh, AI art. It's been really cool. Um, but I don't think it's going to replace me. I think it's another tool. Uh, same thing that happened when digital art kind of is co coming out. People started using tablets and everyone thought that was going to replace or, you know, Photoshop came out and everyone was like, oh no, what are we going to do? At least it wouldn't stop me from doing art. I do art for my own personal selfish reasons. I like to create things and then I make them. And then sometimes other people like the things I make and they'll buy it. Um, sometimes people have a project or a concept that I think is cool and I want to be a part of it. And then I make art for that project. Um, so as long as those things stay consistent, it's fine. I do think AR can be used as a good tool for concepting. Like when you're like working with a client and they're a little bit more vague on the details, they don't really know where to start. You can use AI art as a starting point. Type in a couple things, come up with, you know, several dozen starting points. And then, you know, I come in at the end and uh, add to it. I've also seen AI art used for uh, generating cool backgrounds or textures or things like that. So I, I think it's cool. I'm, I'm for AI art. Um, but I will say that I have realized that I don't value AI art the same way I do human art, I guess is a good way to say it. Um, what I found is that I value art based on the human experience. The reason I like a person's comic book or a person's drawing is because I can see that they have had experiences that have led them to this path. And this is just a snapshot of their, um, their journey through their existence. Um, I see that they've worked with, you know, if I see a really nice ink drawing, I realize that they've started drawing, you know, earlier and they started getting into ink and they found these things that they think are interesting and they found ways to use their tools in these ways. And then this is the result of that. Um, but with AI art, it is um, just a little too detached from that experience. It is that this, you know, AI has searched and researched a bunch of information and has duplicated and produced it onto this thing. It's just not as interesting to me and I just value it significantly less. Um, and I don't know, I'm not sure, you know, that's not a judgment call on anything. It's just my personal stance on it. Um, what I have found is that the art that I have, I have like prints and things from artists from conventions I've gone to and they mean things to me. I like them. I like how they used their skills to create these things. And I was trying to figure out if like, if, say it was all AI generated, say it, um, I went to a convention and someone was like, uh, maybe they didn't even tell me. They were just like, oh, hey, an AI, I found out later, hey, an AI actually made all this artwork. Well, at first I'd be impressed. They can really imitate brush strokes and um, lines on paper very well. But I think it would mean less to me uh, because it isn't an expression of a person's existence or you know their preferences. It's more formulaic. I feel like it's similar to how I feel about doing caricatures. I'm really good at doing caricatures, um, but I tried to veer away from it because it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't satisfying. It felt like more of a trick I could do rather than an expression of myself because it wasn't me being creative or coming up with new ideas or concepts. It was just me following a series of steps to create an end product. And once that happened, it was no longer uh, fulfilling for me. I still do do it because I need to make money, but it falls into that same category of a gimmick or a trick that can be done. Um, yeah. And, you know, well, end of the day, regardless of your feelings on AI art or my feelings on them even, I'm still going to be making art forever. If I can, <laughs> if I can, if I don't lose both my hands, you know, then I'm going to keep at it uh, because I am doing it because I like it and it doesn't really matter too much. If I had only one fan and it was me, then that's enough for me to keep doing the art that I'm doing. But yeah, it is fascinating. I am excited to see where it goes and uh, what problems it causes. I could see some like uh, legal troubles coming up from, you know, using people's images and features and, you know, sampling different things. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's an exciting time to be alive and an exciting time to be an artist. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yes, yeah, my thoughts on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.